In this video demonstration, I'm going to try to show you how to create VCA fader in Cakewalk by BandLab. Now, if you don't know what VCA fader is, I would highly recommend to do a quick Google search, find out what VCA fader is, and see if this is something that you're going to be using in your mixing. If you already know what VCA fader is, you may not be aware that this feature is not really available in Cakewalk by BandLab. VCA faders are usually available in professional editions of, let's say, Pro Tools, Studio One, Cubase, and many other DAWs. But it's not readily available in Cakewalk by BandLab. Now, why would you use a VCA fader? Well, VCA faders were very useful in analog mixing consoles because it allowed you to control multiple faders assigned to that VCA fader with one fader. A great example of this is our drum tracks. It is very different from an auxiliary bus because a VCA fader simply controls multiple faders. It does not have any audio input or output. So let's get started. Here is a mixing session of a song called Crazy For Me by Random Somebody. My drum tracks right here are in blue and I have nine tracks of them. And the output of my drum tracks are assigned to my drums bus. I've done basic leveling on my drum tracks. So let's have a quick listen. There are no plugins, nothing at this stage. So all the outputs from my tracks go to my drums bus, and the output of my drums bus goes to my master output. Now I personally don't put any plugins on my tracks, other than maybe EQ, especially for drums, to take out some of the bleeds from the different microphones of my drum set. And then I add my compression and EQ on my drums bus. A lot of times I might even add auxiliary track to combine my drum tracks into an auxiliary track and the auxiliary track goes to my drums bus. In this simple form, without any VCA control, I can control the main volume of my drums using my drums bus. That's all good, but think of an example, especially if you are using compression plugins which are analog modeled. Those analog modeled plugins have a certain sweet spot where the plugin will actually add some coloration and characteristics to your drums. If you want your compressor, the analog model compressor that you put in on your drums bus to go in and out of that sweet spot, that means you gotta come here and adjust your faders to increase and decrease the level that is going into your compressor. That's when a VCA fader comes handy because the VCA fader will adjust the faders but keeping them relative. So let's invent a VCA fader. Here I'm going to create a new auxiliary track. And I'm going to color my auxiliary track red so I can identify it. I don't need and I don't need any output. Just gonna change this back to my drums. Now I'm gonna hold and select all of my tracks including my auxiliary one track, let's call this VCA drums. 
Now I'm going to right click on the fader and select group. I'm just going to select the first one. So now, by controlling this one, I can control all the other faders. No different than grouping. There's one thing that we need to do to make it relative. We right click, go to Group Manager, select our Group A. Instead of selecting Absolute, we're going to select Relative. This way, faders will go up and down relative to the other faders next to them to keep the balance of our drum mix. Otherwise, bringing them up and down the faders the same way in absolute form can mess up our mix. So now, as you can see, as they go lower, they're more level. As they go higher, they adjust differently. So now I can use this fader, my auxiliary, to control my drum faders. Now one might argue that you don't need this because you can simply come here and adjust it from here the same way. Visually it makes more sense to me to have a VCA fader. That way I know when I'm controlling my VCA, I'm controlling all of my drum faders. To conclude and to demonstrate what a fader is useful for, I'm just quickly going to select my drums, select my pro channel for my drums bus, and enable my compressor. Just going to have high compression there. Now watch, watch the meter as I adjust. Uh, this is going to be hard. Let's adjust there. back up. As you can see, now I can control the input of the compressor with my VCA without losing the balance of my drums mix. Of course, I can automate my VCA fader for the drums if I want to add dynamics into my song. So I can sort of have a bit more compression and more upfront during my chorus with the compressor and then ease down a little bit so the compressor is not working and it's not adding uh, the coloration and the characteristics because of below the sweet spot. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know how to add a VCA in Cakewalk by BandLab and control other faders. Remember the important thing, right click in Group Manager, you have to select Relative to have the correct effect. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio guys!